human brain anatomy. Let's assemble this guy and we'll go over the four major lobes of the brain. If I could get this assembled. Okay, so what we have here is a fully assembled brain. Uh, this is the frontal view, the uh, posterior view. So the four different lobes are the frontal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, and the parietal lobes. And when we open this up, this view, the mid-sagittal view, corresponds to this. Now we'll go over the different parts of the brain. Oh, one more thing to note is this, um, let me put this together again. This um, deep groove that separates the left from the right hemisphere is called the longitudinal fissure. Longitudinal fissure. So starting with this little fold, um, this fold is called the central sulcus, which divides the precentral gyrus from the postcentral gyrus. So this is the central sulcus. In front of that is the precentral gyrus, and the, behind that is the postcentral gyrus. This structure here is the corpus callosum. This is also where you find the lateral ventricles. Just below that, this is the fornix. Below the fornix, you'll find the um, choroid plexus, where the cerebrospinal fluid is made. And this region, this piece, is the thalamus. And there's a small eye spot um, that you find here, which is called the interthalamic adhesion, and this um, joins the left and right hemispheres of the thalamus. And um, anterior to the thalamus, you'll find the uh, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, and this bulb here is the anterior commissure, and back here is the posterior commissure. This is the pineal gland. And there are four bulbs together uh, make up the structure, which is called the corpora quadrigemina, quad for four. This here, just below the anterior commissure, is the um, optic chiasma. And just south of the optic chiasma, you'll find the pituitary gland. And this tiny bulb here is the mammillary bulb, or I'm sorry, mammillary body. And the structure here is the pons, and just below the pons you'll find the medulla oblongata. And where I showed you um, the fornix and the thalamus and the interthalamic adhesion, um, this area is um, also where the third ventricle is found. And this passageway is called the cerebral aqueduct that leads you to the fourth ventricle. And this is a pathway in which the cerebral uh, spinal fluid flows. This is another major region of the brain, which is called the cerebellum. And these tree-like structure, uh, these tree-like structures um, are called the arbor vitae. So there are four major um, parts of the brain. The, they are the cerebrum, diencephalon, brainstem, and the cerebellum. So let's quickly review the parts again. Central sul sulcus that divides the precentral uh, gyrus from the postcentral gyrus. We have the corpus callosum, the fornix, choroid plexus, pineal body, posterior commissure, uh, anterior commissure, thalamus, interthalamic adhesion, hypothalamus, Optic chias uh, chiasma, optic chiasma, pituitary gland, mammillary gland, the pons, medulla oblongata, cerebellum, and arbor vitae. Lateral ventricles, third ventricles, cerebral aqueduct, fourth ventricle. Moving on to the facial region. Down a little bit. Okay. 
So there are these three protrusions. They make up the nasal conchae. We have the superior nasal concha, middle nasal concha, and inferior nasal concha. This bony part, which makes up the, um, <coughs> the roof of our mouth, this is called the hard palate. And posterior to the uh, hard palate, you'll find the soft palate. And at the very tip of the soft palate is where you would find the ovula. This is the tongue. And at the very back of the tongue, you'll find this um, tonsil. And it is called the lingual tonsil. And at the very back of the throat, you'll find another um, tonsil. And this is the palatine tonsil. So we have the lingual tonsil and the palatine tonsil. So there are three regions, uh, three different re regions of um, this area here. Over here is the nasal, nasopharynx. And by the mouth, at the very back of the throat, that is the oropharynx region. And then down here is the uh, laryngopharynx. We have the trachea, where the air flows in and out, which, um, uh, and just behind it, this is the esophagus, where the food enters. And this cartilage here actually will flap um, down to close the trachea shut when you eat food, so that it doesn't enter the windpipe. And this um, cartilage is called the epiglottis, the epiglottis. And this um, indentation here is the vocal cord, uh, not vo vocal cord, but vocal fold. This is the vocal fold. And this cartilage here is the thyroid cartilage, Thy uh, thyroid cartilage. And this back here, and this little piece just below the thyroid cartilage, these two pieces together are called the cricoid cartilages. Cricoid. We have the thyroid and cricoid. And just below that, this tissue is called the uh, thyroid gland. So if you were to look at the thyroid gland anteriorly, it'll resemble a bow tie, the thyroid gland.